Good afternoon everyone, good afternoon. I am back in Sydney. Yes, I'm back in Sydney and I'm jet lagged, a little bit jet lagged. It's been a crazy week. We, uh, we left New York on uh, Wednesday. Some of you might know I just got married in New York. Today we're in City Hall. Natasha's in her beautiful, beautiful wedding dress. And we are about to get married in 10 minutes. Which was really, really a beautiful, beautiful time. Uh, very quick four days, but uh, very, very special. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, so we left New York on Tuesday, uh, Monday night, got back to London on Tuesday afternoon, late uh, midday Tuesday. Then we flew out to Sydney on Thursday night. Now I'm back in Sydney. We arrived in Sydney yesterday at five in the morning. Uh, it's been a crazy, crazy amount of travel. Um, I'm back in the 911. Just a short video today because there hasn't been one on the 997 for a while. Uh, I took it out for a very small drive around where I live in uh, Sydney yesterday. But then I crashed. I absolutely crashed. But um, I tell you what, this car is, is pretty special. Uh, as I said in my Instagram post today, this is... This is a special car and it's a base Carrera, uh, you know what I mean? Like, don't, you know, I'd love to have a GT2, I keep saying it, or sorry, a GT3, GT3 RS, GT2 even. Uh, I'd love all of these 911 variants, they're all fantastic, but never overlook the base Carrera. Uh, don't overlook the 997, don't overlook the 996. If you can't afford the air cooled, buy a 996. There's so many out there that are good prices, I was looking at them recently. Um, but yes, I'm back in the 997. I've just taken the car for a drive along the old Pacific Highway here in Sydney. Uh, it's a long weekend in here, so it's double demerit points. Double demerit points mean uh, you lose your license a lot quicker. Uh, so I've had to be quite careful. Natasha stayed at home. Like I said, we're still a little bit jet lagged, all the traveling, and uh, we're trying to focus being in Australia for only two weeks, uh, which is one of our shortest trips here. Um, I'm going to try and do things with the 911, I just don't know if I can. I wish I would have bought the stainless steel seals before I left London. I tried to buy them, they wouldn't have arrived in time, I left it too late. Uh, I haven't checked the price out here in Australia. Um, I'll show you my seals in a second, the ones I want to change, but you've probably seen them, they're just the base Carrera seals. Should have brought them, should have bought them I should say. Uh, I didn't buy them, I regret it. I'm going to check the price like I said, if it's too expensive I'll just have to get it next time. Short shifters in the front. Uh, I should get that fitted. Like I said, I've got two weeks, uh, so I'm just not sure what to do. Um, the other thing which I've never spoken about is I want to change the windscreen in my car. Um, it's got a little nick out of it, uh, not so bad, but there's a little nick, uh, a lot of fine scratches. You only notice it in bright sunlight, but driving today I have noticed it. Uh, I do get one free windscreen with Porsche insurance. Apparently it doesn't affect my... Uh, claims or anything I'm sure my premium will go out if I do it but I'm gonna replace it I'm not gonna do it this time because I don't have enough time but that is something I'm going to do which I've never spoken about before uh, but it is a maintenance item and I do want to do it so Porsche windscreen Porsche seals uh, Porsche seals etc so that will be done um, I'm still contemplating getting the short shifter fit fitted like I said it's in the front I really want to do it it'll be about $800 Aussie maybe five to eight hundred dollars want to do that. I just don't know if I'm going to have the time. I really don't know if I'm going to have the time. Um, we're back in Australia as well because we're about to go to Bahrain on the 1st of July, which some of you guys know. Hope to get a Porsche there or at least something very cool to drive and make videos on. Um, and while I'm in Australia, the whole reason, <coughs> excuse me, is to get things sorted before we're in Bahrain. Because when we leave Sydney now, we're probably going to be there until Christmas. Uh, and then I got to make the other big decision. What should I do? Let me know in the comments. Should I put my car in storage? Um, I'm not sure what to do with that. It's about 400 Aussie a month, 450 Aussie a month. If they have a space, I'm not even sure if they do. Uh, I know Auto House Hamilton were offering it a while ago. I haven't checked with them, so I'm not even sure if it's still available. There is another place in Sydney, which I mentioned before, but that's more expensive. Uh, I'll just show you these seals and I'll just show you the car. It's very bright outside so I've decided to sit in the car and film because really it's just, uh, I just don't know how it's going to turn out. But I'll show you the seals, this is what I want to replace. So that's the seal that I have now. I mean there's nothing wrong with it. You guys have seen it, black plastic, silver, Carrera. This is the passenger side one. The passenger side is actually in good condition. The driver's side is a little bit not so great. Oh, 
the inside of the car if you guys can see it I don't know if you can see it the leather console that I changed still looking great I mean still a great car I've got the back seats down today because I like it with the back seats down uh, my car's in pretty good nick inside as you can see so just a bit of a once over like I said the leather bits that I'm thinking about I thought about doing this piece in leather you can also do this little piece in leather uh, the other thing that I wanted to do was the sun the sun roofs around this piece in leather but you haven't seen the 911 in a while so here she is I don't know why I call it a she I never called it a she before it's very strange I am a bit jet lagged but there it is this road is very busy as all the motorcyclists and, and etc come here on the weekend also the main freeway has got a big traffic jam so all the cars are coming up here today so it's a bit of a nightmare but you know considering considering the 911 hasn't been washed in four months and it's been underneath my indoor cover I think it's looking pretty good. I mean, it's still pretty clean. I mean, maintenance wise, I'll probably have to do a bit of a polish. Uh, I'll probably have to do a bit of a polish. I'm trying to get out of the sun. I'll probably have to do a bit of a polish on the car. I noticed, you know, it's unavoidable, but I think people have brushed up against the front uh, front fender, so it looks as if it needs, you know, a little bit of a, a little bit of a just a little bit of a buff back on the uh, paint. Um, nothing serious though. But as you can see, beautiful day in Sydney. It is winter. Uh, it was cold yesterday. I'm going to jump back in the car now. I'm going to turn the GoPro on. I can't seem to see it on my phone, so I'm not sure if the positioning is going to be right, but hopefully it works out and I'll chat to you guys in the car. But uh, just wanted to show you guys the car again. Because honestly, it is, it is a beautiful, beautiful car and I love it. And uh, like I said, 997, guys, you guys that own it, you know what it's like. It's a, it's a fantastic car. And classic status is coming. Classic status is coming. So anyway, let's jump back in the car. On my way back home, uh, I've got about half an hour's drive or so, so we'll talk in the car. Okay, hi guys. Uh, hopefully this is working. We'll soon find out. Let's go. So those of you that live in Sydney will know where I am. I'm on a stretch of road called the Old Pacific Highway. Like I said, it's double demerit, so I have to be a little bit careful, as I am. I don't know if you can hear the exhaust, but uh, as my mate uh, James on Auto Images said, the Vista exhaust is just fantastic, and it sounds really, really good today, and it's great to be back in the car. <sighs> so I'm just heading now on this little stretch of Old Pacific Highway. It goes to a place called Brooklyn here in uh, New South Wales. Same as the one in New York, but uh, a little bit less dense, I guess. But can you can you hear the car? It's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. And uh, jet lag and all. More tired than jet lag, actually. I think it's more tired. Uh, but uh, it's fucking. Uh, sorry, it's fantastic. It's a great car. And uh, as I've always said, if I got a GT3, I'd love to have this and the GT3. I'd still like to keep the base. I know once you have a GT3 or a GT2 or a GT3 RS, it's probably, you know, the driving experience is, is probably, you know, more enhanced, I guess. More enhanced in the, uh, in the, in the Red Sport models and the RS models. But honestly, first 911, first Carrera, great car. And as I've always said, I'd like to just keep, if I, hopefully I can hang on to it. Uh, so when I go to Bahrain, like I said to you guys before, I'm, I'm, I really want to get a 911. The roads there, some are good and some are bad. I have to admit, after being there twice in the last month, couple of months, uh, I've realized that it's, the roads aren't always so great and parking, you have to, wherever you park, you have to just realize that everyone's on top of you. So I can't 
can't be too particular. Um, you know, it, it does warrant having an SUV, SUV in Bahrain. Uh, if finances and situation is is favourable, then I would like to have an SUV and I would like to have a 911. Or even a GT4, which I've said before. I don't have a problem with getting a GT4. But they're quite expensive uh, still in Bahrain. They're not that cheap. So that's the ideal situation, an SUV. Maybe even a G-Wagon, don't laugh. Maybe even an old G-Wagon, like a 2001, 2002 model, which are very cheap in Bahrain. And then a 911 for the fun bits and for the track. That would be, that would be an ideal situation. Anyway, just talking out loud as I always do. Um, but you know what? I really do miss this car and, and it's so annoying. I mean, I shouldn't say it, but it's so annoying all this traveling and I know other people will look at me and go, what are you talking about? But not having this to drive is just, I don't know, it just doesn't feel right. When I come back and, you know, it's a great feeling every time I come back and I've said this many times before, coming back to the 911, you know, I, I enjoy it. The first thing I did yesterday when Natasha's brother dropped us off at home is I went to the car and just checked on it, you know, and it's just perfect. It just started, I mean, of course I had to put the key in to unlock it, but the remote wouldn't work after that amount of time. But, you know, started straight away. I've been on the trickle charger for four months. Four months I've been away. Uh, so it's all, it's all worked out really well. Anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it here. Uh, I'm gonna keep driving. Like I said, I've got a little bit further to go, but uh, I just wanted to have a chat to you guys today and, and just show you the car again and, and you know, and just, I miss making these videos and I haven't made a lot lately, I don't know, and, and you have to excuse me, I, I did have a lot of other more important things on my mind. Uh, like I said, we just got back from New York and, and that was fantastic. And uh, thank you for all the, the, the well wishes on Instagram as well, everyone that uh, commented on Instagram. Uh, I really appreciate it and I, I tried to answer most of you and uh, those of you that I didn't, um, those of you that I didn't, um, thank you. Anyway, uh, I think I'll leave it here. I might finish something off in the flat if I don't. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I guess it's goodbye from Sydney for now. I'll make another video in the next